A battle plan against blight. Leaders in Westmoreland County say they're putting together a plan to locate and identify dilapidated buildings in Greensburg. And now a recent donation from a group of realtors is helping fund that effort. Roscadotti spent the day visiting some of the properties likely to be on that list. In Westmoreland County, you're going to find many wonderful historical structures, but you're also going to find a lot of this. Blight is an issue that uh, is affecting nearly all of our communities within Westmoreland County. Big red X telling first responders with one letter what this entire sheet of paper says. Unless you know there's someone in this building that needs rescued, stay out. But what about the other buildings not yet marked, just falling apart on various streets? Well, the county has come up with money, an app, and a plan to find them. We can go out and parcel by parcel examine the city and the condition of the properties and structures and then grade them basically to identify uh, those areas of blight. $10,000 from a local realtors association will pay for what is essentially an inventory of neighborhood eyesores. Now, not every blighted home in Greensburg has a gigantic red X on the side of it. A lot of them you don't really notice, but this group is looking for particular structures with particular things that indicate it's a blighted building. In most cases, it's that gut reaction. If we're talking cracked block, cracked um, brick. If wood is rotting, there's visible holes in the structure. The roof is collapsing in. There's uh, broken or missing or boarded up windows, things of that nature. If there's vegetation, uh, just completely overgrown or litter, things like that, that would, would uh, warrant a, a grade of blight. Manesson, one time home of a blighted building that burned, then collapsed, and was eventually held together with straps, has already started using a system to find blighted buildings. But paying for all these buildings to be taken down is a lot different than just finding them. Demolition of all these buildings could run into hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions. But the county says, given the scale of this problem, this program is a pretty good start. In Greensburg, Roscadotti, KDKA News.